This is the tweet from you. Buckle up, uh -huh. ladies of Saudi Arabia. The official media and officials are backing you up on October 26th. Yes. Uh, what what ago, is significant about this? The officials kept very quiet. They didn't want to talk. And uh, the, all these official newspapers, they refused to talk about June 17. It was a very problematic thing and controversial. They didn't want to bring it up. So the only ones who were uh, supporting us were the international media. Something else, very interesting also. In the Sharq al-Awsat newspaper, Abdurrahman al-Rashid, and he's known to be a, a, a government guy, I would say. So he speaks, he's very close to the crown prince in Saudi Arabia. He speaks what the government wants. And, and he's supporting. I met Abdurrahman al-Rashid in person, and he wasn't supportive of this uh, movement, June 17. And now it's uh, very clear uh, people are much more relaxed uh, they exhausted the conversation about women driving, and I think they're really tired. They want to see um, some real actions or uh, a decision made. And Manal, uh, you know, we were looking at some of those newspapers, and you're, you're bringing up the importance of them. Uh, Iman and Nafjan, who I know that you're in touch with, you know, tweeted this, saying Saudi women drove in Jeddah in support of the October 26th movement. It seems like people are not only driving in Riyadh, they're driving in Jeddah. Uh, and we're seeing more and more of this. And for example, we also have uh, on the Global Post, uh, they created a, 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 an article that says, Lady Problems, the world's strangest laws applied to women. If I scroll down, number one, I'm just going to zoom in. Oh, excuse me. There you go. I'm going to zoom in here. Driving in Saudi Arabia is number one. I have to ask you, as a, as a Saudi woman, as someone who, you know, I know you've traveled to America, you know, you, you live and work there. What do you make of, of how the world perceives this law? I mean, obviously, you're explaining to us what the conversation's like inside of Saudi, but, but what do you confront when you travel abroad, and, and what do you hope changes? Um, I, I confront a lot of stereotypes. Usually, if I want to talk to students or new uh, audience, I ask them, what are the stereotypes you have about Saudi Arabia? Probably everyone knows we're the, com the last country in the world where women can drive, but no one understands why. And for them, they say, we understand a lot of things like minor uh, marriage, uh, like honor killing, uh, the rape, and all these problems that women facing around the world. The only thing that we cannot uh, understand is why women can drive. Uh, and I ask them about stereotypes they know about Saudi Arabia, and I hear uh, very negative ones. After I finish talking to them or our discussion, um, I say, I hope next time I meet you um, and I ask about the stereotypes, I would, I would hear some positive ones about Saudi Arabia. And this is, I think, what we're hoping to, um, actually, we're trying to help the country to end these very negative stereotypes about them. And, and one of them is women can't drive, still can't drive in Saudi Arabia.